Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is a segment of our program where we're going to simply discuss unusual looking people. So let me introduce you to Jay Thomas. Oh, great. Jay Thomas is here. There he is. He is um, He's a morning man. At, I brought my crowd with me. That's it's right. Busload, yeah. Morning man at WKTU, and he's recently sponsored a Boy George Lookalike contest. How many people turned out for it? Well, we had uh, three or four hundred entries at the station. Who and judged? Well, believe it or not, we had a judge from uh, Ra Ralph Lauren. Is that right? Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Well, one of those. Oh, <laughs> one of those. <laughs> one of those. Somebody that pays me that I forgot. Something with an L and an R. We had um, uh, Boy George's record label uh, was there. Uh, Epic and Columbia was there. And uh, we had a, a guy named G. Keith Alexander, who's just a disc jockey. G. Had, he had a tuxedo, so we had him be uh, He's, one he's of a the beautiful judges. Giorgio Armani tuxedo. Right. I've seen him in it several times. All right, let's take a look at uh, two are you winners or finalists. These are the winners. This is the Boy George. <laughs> Uh, Boy George winners. Now we're not going to tell you who's who's really a, a male and who's really a female. That would take no. That would take all the take fun all out. the fun out of it, you know. But uh, uh, there's a there's a male winner and a female. They both won uh, video tape recorders from us, and, yeah. and we had a big night. And we went to the Copa, and uh, we had a big time. Well, first introduce yourself. Your name is Louise Millman. Oh, well, you see now it's over. <laughs> oh, so, so, no, that's that's the boy, and you are no, Tony Stanhope. Tony Stanhope, right? right? Okay, now I want to have audience applause. Which one do you think, which one do you give the Boy George Lookalike winner to? Is it this one? Yeah. Or that one? Well, you're both winners anyway. How do you, uh, is this the way you normally stroll the streets or? Uh... Absolutely not. I'm a high school teacher. <laughs> and so then, uh, and um, the wonderful thing about this is that uh, when I take my makeup off... You my still look like that. No, absolutely not. You, won't, you wouldn't recognize me walking do, along the street. Do you think if, if your students were watching right now that they would recognize you, no. Louise? They'd know the name. What that's prompted you to do this? Um, I do many different things with makeup and theater and what have you. And I was at Arabian Night at a party dancing around and someone came up to me and said, you look like Boy George with all that makeup on your face. And I said, hmm. So I went and spoke to a makeup artist, and six hours later I looked in the mirror, and this is what I looked like. And Tony, how about you? How did you get involved in entering this contest? Well, I've always dressed like this. Is Good, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Boy George has been following you around. No, I'll I tell you what happened. Like, when George started out when he was 15 years old, I started when I was 15, what was happening to him in London was happening to me in America. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can sing exactly like George if I want to. Can, can we hear that? Can we, can we hear it? Miss me, I know you miss me, blood. But no, that you know, but my own. Oh, I can't do it. I do We're not gonna. We're, we're not, we can't even do the Clancy Brothers. But anyway, so. But um, I'm not. You see, I never copied George with the makeup. I've always dressed on more of the outrageous, you know, look. Uh -huh. um, I'm pursuing a career now. How do your parents feel about this? I mean, you know, like at Christmas morning when you come <laughs> down, you know, everyone's around the tree for the gifts and you're dressed like this? Well, they think that I'm the Christmas tree, you know. <laughs> Good! All right, to continue uh, our quest to interview and look at and observe unusual looking people, we have four other people here on the other side that fit into the category of unusual looking people. Uh, <laughs> R relatively speaking, what, what's your name? Uh, my name is Tommy Gunn. And Tommy, where do you work? I work at Visage. This is a great new club in town with the it's aquariums great, yeah. and mermaids. We have and mermaids, we have ice skating. Uh, the place is 2,600 square feet and it's glamour to its the highest point. Is this a close personal friend of yours? Uh, well, it was at one point. <laughs> yeah. But now I don't have to feed or walk it anymore. So. Wait, what's happening? No, not much. Anyway, just stand up and let us take a closer look at this. Yay! <laughs> Wait a second, let's see what this stuff is on the back. You got handcuffs back here. Plenty and of the keys. Citizens. What about this thing? What's the, the turn around so we can look at this tail? What's the what's the purpose of this? We're Well you go right for the good where stuff. Where this comes from? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, right in there. Yeah. The <laughs> Good work. Silver nails. A lot of work. Lot of work. Yeah. Custom design, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So what do you do at the club? Well, believe it or not, I'm the host of the place and I work the door there too. And I sort of entertain the people who come there. Do you, do you have to look like this to get in? No, I, Can Jay and I get in if we're, if we're holding hands? Are you the bouncer stuff? there if there's trouble? <laughs> uh, what I do is I walk around, talk to people, make sure they're having a good time. And I change my look constantly. Like tomorrow you might stop by the club and I might be wearing a tuxedo. What's something wrong with this mic? It fell off. 
His mic fell off. When you were grabbing his tail. You can hardly, you can hardly miss it here. I'll just attach it to this. Ah! Oh, my word, what's, what's he doing to me? Good. Okay, hi, what's your name? Perry Lister. Perry Lister, what a voice, huh? Purple hair, purple lips, day glow green. And what is this top? Well, it's very similar to a Paco Rabanne style, but it's designed by a girl called Mary Paul, who makes jewelry. And you also so work at Visage, like, correct? Yes. What is your job there? Dancer? Well, I, I'm, my title is Downtown PR, but um, <laughs> which is a very strange thing. It's we're on 56th Street, but uh, that's where I live, and most of my friends live there. What, in, so. what inspired this look, my dear? Inspired? Well, I've, when I... My, I come from a very theatrical family. Good. Um, and uh, my, my father worked for Noel Coward and my mother was a tap dancer and actress. And I've always been to stage schools all my life. And I think as soon as I ran away from home when I was 15, I dyed my hair bright red and it, it sort of continued from there. Oh. How about this sort of <laughs> Don King, organized Don King look that we're sporting here? Oh, yes, I love him. He's great. Um, <laughs> Well, this is my Chime creation of my hairdresser, Eric Gregg. Eric The guy with the Gregg. green hair over there. Okay. <laughs> oh. Or is it just...